Hello everyone. I hope everybody's wonderful. I got the sports bras from Silky Socks today. So I hurried up and got some printing. Then I can do it. So here they are. Very nice. Here's the seams for the bottom. Alright, so I'm going to do two of these, a light color and a dark color, full and um, a pair of underwear. So I got some of my paper ready. I stuck them because that took a long time. I didn't want to take you guys up, but I'll definitely be showing you um, how to do that. Uh, I put three or four papers three or four um, butcher papers in there because my butcher paper that I bought is really thin. It's not the thick butcher paper I normally get from Amazon. So this one is an extra large. I put the paper in right there and stuff. All my prints are um, on 13 by 19 paper. And so this one, I'm not going to do the band on this one. I'm only going to do the band up. So let me lint roll. If I can find my lint roll. Because if you're not going to do a full bleed, you should. Lint roll, they all get the little um, blue little dots. The blue little dots. Because that is whoops, from Lint. Just a little has came off. Just do a little bit. So this one is an extra large. The other one will be a medium. Make sure when you put the paper in that it's not curling or forcing it. Because then that will mess you up on your seams on the sides. All right. I did um, check my pressure before I turn my heat press on. So let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. did some paint splash. This is before it's pressed. So we're going to do it. See how I do. This make sure if you're not sure um, print it again paper is you know do the math how much do you spend on paper divided by 100 divided by 110 depending on what you buy and that's how much you actually spend I'd rather waste paper and ink than a $10 blank that's just me and I do print I do do stuff if I can on um what do you call it on my on copy paper to make sure my sizing is right for items that I can do that with all right there we go I'm gonna probably get the band a little bit but that's okay looks like my bleed is right on it but that's okay and I am going to put butcher paper just because this white part right here. I'll just go like that. And here we go. Maybe not. There we go. So I'm doing.
doing on my press 385 for 45 seconds with medium pressure we're gonna see how that works out I gotta make sure I get my pressure right for this one because my other one is a blue navy solid color so I have to make sure my pressure these are the watercolor background so we'll see these sports bras are very stretchy so they can hold you in my temperature dropped a little bit that is okay oh yes so here's the colors pretty much all gone in the 45 seconds so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna just flip it real fast try to line it all back up where it was and get my other paper and do it again cutting the borders off And then just feel. Make sure you got enough to cover. Yeah. All right. There we go. Do it again. And then the bikini underboyers are going to have the same design. You got to put some, um, put your paper in it. Remember, put a couple sheets just in case because everybody's press is different. Everybody uses different paper. So, just to make sure, protect your item. So there's that again. And just go ahead and take it out. We'll see. Okay, I did put enough, so I folded two pieces. Ooh, it's hot. Very hot. And we'll let that one cool down for a minute. So it looks like I got the right time and the right um, pressure. So that is good. And then with the underwears, I know a lot of people were having problems um, with the sides or whatever. You can use heat tape it's not going to ruin the underwear at all so if you don't want to mess with it i just put it i start in the corner right here probably need some wider heat tape but you get what i'm saying you can do that and then you don't have to worry about that part right there so much that your paper is not going to get over there. All right. I'm going to just pull it up some because you can see it's kind of folding because it's too big. So I'm going to go ahead and put heat tape over here on this side. And honestly, you can do it all the way down if you want to. I mean, because you definitely have to protect your item. It's all trial and error. Everybody has different ink, different paper, different press, different 
pressure like oh that might be heavy to me but it might not be heavy to that other person so you gotta be get familiar with your um with your press all right so we're just gonna go like that turn this one over here i'm gonna put this right here Let me get this other little paper. I see a little corner. That's why you gotta take your time, look at it, take a breath. It's gonna be all right. You don't wanna rush it. I know we all get excited. I'm so excited the mailman came today and dropped these off. So I'm gonna just do it like that. My press, I get better heat in the middle of my press. So that's why I turn them this way. It's gonna be the same design. As the other one. Oh, I was like, wait a minute, why do I got so much up there? Make sure you got you bring it down to your crotch area down there. Over some. There we go. All right. All right. Let's do it. Make sure your temperature is back up to what you need it to be. 385, 45 seconds. Let me show you the bra, the sports bra. The colors came out beautiful. And because I put enough paper inside, it did not bleed through. But I just wanted to make sure, because I know people were having issues with that. So here's the seam. Let's see, focus. So I even got a little down there. gonna go flip it just like that try to line it back up where it was make sure it's laying flat as much as possible make sure you got um, your um, have enough coverage there we go all right let's do it again awesome so let's go see if we can get a better look at this brawl see if you can see the yellow and the colors so here's the side it took the side very well the seam so here's the seam again. So no jig is needed. Just put some butcher paper in. And this is um, an extra large. Came out awesome. cool down let me take them um, let me take the tape off the sides okay let that sit right there for a minute let's go on to the next one this one is a full bleed so, 
hopefully it comes out good just like the other one. This one, let's see if I can lay it flat. Get your paper situated because your paper does move. And I just cut different pieces and um, shapes and stuff like that. So let me push this down some. I do want the bottom not to go to the other side and i'm just doing this because it's the razor back you know you gotta fill those little pieces in right there right here this one is a dark color so that's why I did the light color first, because when you do dark, it will show all your flaws. So you want to do a light color, make sure you got everything situated correctly before you do the dark. Make sure it's flat, there's no wrinkles. Make sure you share, like, subscribe. I'll be definitely doing some more of these. All right. Uh oh, did my paper match? Oh yeah. I was like, didn't my paper didn't print right? So here we go. Let me make sure. Maybe because I put the butcher paper in and it stri pulled the strap. Oh no, we're good. Yeah, we are good. And we're good. All right, so make sure your paper is covering the areas here we go all right let's do it the moment it's a dark color well it's not a dark color but it's a full bleed and stuff and these are silky socks um sports bras i will leave the link and everything oh here's the underwear Matching set, the back, the front, did not bleed through. Here's the seams. So you do not need a jig, you just need the right pressure. That's all you need, the right pressure. So we'll see, I'm so nervous. Oh, my temperature dropped really good on that one. Oh, wow. Wow, I like that. Okay, let me just flip it and keep going. It is hot, hot, hot. Be careful. And I did not pre-press. I made sure my pressure was right before I turned my press on. If you're not gonna do a full bleed, please lint roll or you'll get the little blue dots.
So I would say the key is make sure you have thick butcher paper for the inside, not this thin crap that I have. And um, um, then you don't have to put so many pieces in. My paper is very thin, you can see through it the butcher paper. So, 385, 45 seconds. I'll let you look at the bra one more time. Because that's all I have. So here's the seams for these ones. The straw. So I didn't have any issues. And then the band. Mm, there you go. So this is what this press is signature series from Heat Press Nation, 16 by 20. Swing away. I think that's it, right? So I can shut it off. Here we go, here we go. Ooh. Ooh, 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 ooh. Hot, 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 hot. Whoops, sorry. Oops. All right, so. Let's do the top. So here's the seam. Beautiful. Here's the other seam. Beautiful. The back. The front. Here's the sides. You know, everyone's always worried about the sides. So there's the sides. So no jig, just the right enough pressure to get it. Look at that. Awesome. And nothing inside. Got to make sure you put enough paper inside to protect it. Just because of the shape of the bra. Because it's different because you don't want to press here so you're putting paper in to protect this beautiful thank you for watching until next time we'll see what i come up with thank you